Okay. I hope this is working. Hey, hi everybody. It's Wendy Shaw with Creative Shenanigans. I'm going to try to show you how to make this what I call a uh, 3D fun fold pop out card. So this is it here. I'll just hold it up a little bit closer to the camera. So it's um, it's really a cute card, very simple to make. I've got pictures on the blog, so you can have a look at those. It opens that way. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make that today. And it just stands like that. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, okay, so what you do, I've got a template here. So I'll just quickly show you the template so you know the pieces that you're going to need. <clears throat> so you, first of all, you need a piece of cardstock, four and a quarter by 11 inches. I'm going to leave that here because we'll use that as an example. Piece of white cardstock, four inches by four and a quarter. And then you need a coordinating cardstock. Now, I made a mistake on the size of that, so um, it should be, uh, these are all three are the same colored coordinating cardstock, something that coordinates with your original cardstock. So you need one large piece, two and three sixteenths, and then two, and these are all four and three, three eighths, by the way, and then two that are seven eighths and four and three eighths. You need, that's the coordinating cardstock. And then you need um, DSP that goes with that. So you need um, a DSP that's four and a quarter. All of these pieces are four and a quarter. And then you will have one that's one and 15 sixteenths and one that's are two that are six eight and six eighths of an inch. So those will go on that coordinating cardstock. So let me just start by showing you um, how to uh, basically cut and score your cardstock. Okay, I'm going to bring out my trusty paper trimmer and just go over it with you. So this is your four and a quarter inches here and your 11 inches here. First of all, I've already done this, so but I'm gonna just show you how, how you do it. Just line it up with your one inch measure there and score at one inch across the whole thing. Then move it up and you can either move it up to five and a half and score it again at, no, sorry, four and, four and a half and score it here, or you can flip it around and score it. This is probably the easiest. What you want to have is a piece that's four and a half inches this way and four and a quarter this way at the end. So score that at four and a quarter. So this piece is now six and a half inches long, this whole piece. So what I want you to do now is go back. Well, actually we're gonna cut first, we're going to trim. So line it up i hope you can see this i'm going to put it this way maybe and what you're going to do is cut from this first score line to the last score line that you've made and one inch in from the edge and cut only there don't cut to the end don't go past just cut to that score line and that score line so basically you're going to do this right from there to there is what you're going to cut and then you can turn it around. Now, if your uh, paper trimmer shows the one inch down here, you can move it down. It's a little bit easier. And you're going to score, or sorry, cut again from that one inch, from the one inch at the bottom to the six and a half at the top, right along that one inch in to that score line, that score line, okay? Then you're going to turn it and score only on these, so what you've done basically is created two panels on the side and one center panel. That's what you end up with. So what I want you to do now is just score one more inch up on those outside panels. So you're going to score here and here. Not here in the middle, just on the outside. So you can score one inch up, one inch up. So basically it's two inches from the bottom or one inch from that first score line, whichever makes sense to you. And then move it down again, and you're going to have the top here at five and a half, and you're going to score only the center piece now, 
one inch down from that first score line here at six and a half. So now you've got all of your, your card scored and cut. I'm gonna say don't bother folding anything right now. Just lay it flat on here. Uh, that's, I think, the easiest way to do it. So what I want you to do is um, put the, 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 I'm using the kind of wood uh, because it's going to be for a man. So I'm just going to put the DSP on the um, cards, on the cardstock that I chose to go with this. Just have to make sure that it's straight. Okay. Okay. Now, so I've got the DSP on the cardstock. Now I'm going to just stick that cardstock down. Now, what you want to do is you're going to put this first piece of cardstock with the DSP on it on the center panel below the, the score line you made at the five and a half mark, okay? So that piece goes there, like that. These two smaller pieces are going to go above. So this is what it's going to look like. You're going to put that above that score line there. Okay, I know it seems a bit weird right now, but it'll make sense to you in a moment when you, when you actually start to fold it. Okay, so just attach that coordinating cardstock with your DSP already attached. Put it right on there. And do the same with that last piece. This uh, stamp and seal is very sticky, so you have to be kind of careful. Get it right before you press down. Okay, now that's what you look like. Now what I did was I also, I also made a, a sentiment here for the front. You don't have to do that. Um, you could put some other coordinating DSP on there whatever you, you, you feel like. Um, you could even just put some gems or something like that, but it is kind of plain without anything on it. So I thought I'm just, I had this nice little sentiment that I liked and I thought I'm just gonna add that right there. So I'm gonna put that there. And then the inside of your card is, if you flip it over this way, your the inside of your card is gonna go here. So I've already prepared this. Um, the dimensions you have, and I've stamped on it already. So I put a little bit of the wood uh, DSP on the bottom of this piece for the inside, just to, so it's you know a little bit fancier. I'm going to stick that down. As I said, this stuff is very sticky, so make sure you have it in the right spot before you press down. There we go. Okay, so that's the inside of your card. Now we'll flip it back over and I'm going to put, this is the, the sentiment that I made. I'm gonna just show you quickly how I did that. So this is from the, um, mm, let me grab it here for you. It's from the Beauty of Friendship set. And so I made this tree but what I did, so I, the tree, if you can, you can see on the back, is that tree there. It's the die cut. But what I did was I took a piece of vellum and I just used my daubers with some ink. And I used, uh, these are the colors that I use today. I used Mango Mama, Cinnamon Cider, uh, Mossy Meadow, Pear Pizzazz, and uh, Blackberry Bliss. And I just took the daubers and I just created a bit of color. So you can see that it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Then I used the die cut from this set that makes trees. It's quite cool. So I, I cut out this chunk. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again for you, but you can see. And then I layered it on. So this is the original one that I did, and you can see it's slightly raised. Hope you can see that, slightly raised. And I did the same thing on this one. 
and just sort of pieced it. All I did was I, I um, used dimensional pieces, small pieces of dimensional to put it on there so that it's slightly raised. Now I'm going to use dimensionals again to put that on to my card right here. Before I do that, I thought uh, just to add a little bit of extra something, I'm going to add some string. So this is the gold string and um, the black that comes as the black comes in a set. I think there was five of them in the set. So I'm just going to kind of group this all together right here. I'm going to use one of my uh, glue dots and stick that down. These are great for things like that. So let me just find my next glue dot here. Where are you? Right there. Okay. My handy pick tool. And I'm going to put that right about there, I think. And then I just can stick my string down on that, like that. I can trim this up after when I get my sentiment down. Okay. Now I'm going to use the, I use the black dimensionals for this one. So I'm just going to put the dimensionals on like that and probably six is plenty for this. And then the handy pick tool, you can see how quickly and easily those little backings come off when you use your pick tool. There we go. Now I'm going to lay that and I've already used, this was, I used this, um, I use the punch that has the double, the double ovals on it for this one. Put that right there. Okay. Now I'm going to just trim this little bit of string up just because it's a little bit long for me. There we go. Now that's the card. So I'm just going to show you how to fold this card. It's so easy. Um, so what I do is just Fold it right here at the end between your finger and your thumb and fold that first fold down and as you're doing that you're automatically folding these two pieces behind you down then you just fold that up like that fold that down and that's pretty much it that's how easy it is now to make it stand really well I take um, my bone folder and just make sure this piece right here is folded really well and then it stands beautifully, just like that. So that's how easy that one is. But it's a really cute card. Like I really like it. I hope you do. And um, thanks for watching.